Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a random review. I am Random Ross and today I review Beverly Hills Cop 2. So this is a sequel to the 1984 film Beverly Hills Cop uh, that is co-written by Eddie Murphy this time and Robert D. Wetcher, Wetchers. And then the screenplay was written by Larry Ferguson and Warren Scarin. Directed by Ridley Scott's brother, Tony Scott. Uh, starring, of course, Eddie Murphy with the returning casts, including George Reinhold, uh, Jugrin Pro Now, uh, Ronnie Cox, John Aston, Bridget Nielsen, uh, Alan Garfield and Paul Reisner. So this is, as I've said, it's a sequel. It takes place three years after the events of the first film, and it, even though it came out in 1987, where this time, um, you know, Captain Andrew Bogomil from the first movie, Roddy Cox's character, is ambushed by the Alphabet Bandit, and uh, and he is gunned down and badly wounded. He's in critical condition. Axel Foley, who befriended him in the last film, goes back to Beverly Hills, you know, taking matters into his own hands with the help of, uh, you know, Billy and, um, yeah, uh, Billy and uh, John, yeah, Billy Rosewood and John Taggart, and they hunt down the foe responsible for the ordeal and they uh, you know, have a whole buddy cop romance because it's a buddy action comedy and you know this time Billy Rosewood even loosens up some more and they go all out to find the you know the perpetrator save the day close the case and you know, wrap up the film in a cool finale so that's the story of this. What do I like about this? Well, um, this time I wasn't expecting too much silliness from Eddie Murphy, so, you know, uh, he, again, I think he did great playing Axel Foley with his impro improvisation, from what I could gather, and, you know, his, you know, and uh, they got a good majority of the cast back from the first movie. Obviously, we didn't have the same director, we had Tony Scott, and I think he handled the directing great and also this still had its same soundtrack it's Axel Foley you know, tune that do, 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 do. you know like I said in my last review of the first movie um, and again it's still in the 80s so we get 80s vibes which I liked we get the whole California feel I noticed in one part where he's pulling up his cement mixer we actually see a very young Chris Rock as a car attendant, you know, those people that park cars. I well, thought, that's a young Chris Rock. Um, who would have thought he'd have a great future ahead of him in comedy? Um, and also, we got a cameo from Hugh Hefner as himself, I believe. Um, yeah, Hugh Hefner as himself. And um, we had that, some fun cameos here and there. And again, we had some funny moments in there. We had Axel Foley being crazy. We had some gun shooting, some violence, keeping the R rating and the whole swearing, nudity and violence and stuff. It was, you know, a good fun sequel. Was it as good as the first one? I would say so, yeah, because it, it kind of felt like an actual sequel, you know, a direct follow on, even though three years had passed. And you know what? I think it worked. You know, I, I I didn't get bored watching it. Maybe a tinsy bit in the middle act, but when I sort of do that, I usually think, okay, I think I need to pause it, have a leg stretch, make a cup of tea. I did that, and then I got back straight back into the film straight away. Uh, and again, a good hour and forty-five minutes again. So again, not a long, not a massively long film. Um, you know, like I say under the two hour mark and you know just a 
a good action film. And like I said, I didn't expect too much silly comedy this time round, um, but the comedy they did have, they made work. And like I say, Eddie Murphy kept me on my toes, kept me entertained throughout. And I thought, yep, yeah, still, still got the chops from the first movie. And I'll be interested in the third movie, what that's going to be like when I get round to watching that. And what will the fourth movie be like when it comes out in July? Anyway, yeah, I think I said all I needed to say about this one. Uh, so, ratings, I will give Beverly Hills Cop 2. Um, You know what, I think I will again give this a 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5 for Beverly Hills Cop 2. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this one. So have you seen it? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. I have been Random Ross and this has been a random review. And if you love horror content, I have a channel for that too. Link down below in the description or in the cards up here. So anyway, yeah. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All my social media links are down below in the description. So yeah. Um... So yeah, that's it for this one, so until next time, I bid you all a goodbye, friends, goodbye.